The problem with ego is that it decides that the only way that you have value is if you're better than or have more than everyone everywhere. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because not only do I make a ton of videos but I am still here in Los Angeles. I've been doing a ton of collaborations. The video with the amazing Donna from Psych IRL is up it will be linked up in the info card i think it's on this side of the screen but anyways go check it out we have a great 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 conversation about youtube fans healthy unhealthy parasocial relationships really cool stuff love that girl and we did a video over on her channel so make sure you check them out both out all right so yeah why the heck am i making this video um, so on my way to California, and it's gonna take a minute for me to get Jake, to Jake Paul, but calm down, there's a reason behind this. I got a bunch of audiobooks to listen to, and by far my favorite one so far is this one right here called Ego is the Enemy. And I thought it would be the best one for me to get into because my channel's growing up and uh not growing up well i guess it's doing that it's maturing it went from a little baby channel to kind of like a medium teenage channel but anyways it's blowing up and i know from my history that my ego can be the death of me right i I can take something amazing and destroy it with ego so i'm like all right i'll check this book out and throughout reading this i was telling my buddy matt Throughout reading this, I've already had like so many just aha moments, right? And yeah, so I wanna make sure that I don't build this thing up only to destroy it, you know what I'm saying? And in this recent chapter, like all I kept thinking of was Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, right? And you know, for those of you watching this, like not all of you, but some of you, Jake Paul is probably synonymous with ego, you know what I mean? And here's the thing that I keep trying to teach you guys through the way I kind of run my channel is no matter who it is, no matter who it is out there, there's some that, something that we can learn from one another, okay? Like on paper, on paper, being Jake Paul sounds like a pretty good idea, but like we're gonna find out like the sacrifices that people make to get more of something, it's not always something that we wanna do, but sometimes we get so caught up with everything that we make these sacrifices. Like something that this book talked about, which I'm gonna talk about in the context of Jake Paul, is that our ego doesn't like trade-offs, right? Our ego wants everything, our ego wants more, okay? Something that they talk to me about addiction, but also just the, you know, the nature of being human is that we as humans, we suffer from the disease of more. There's never enough, right? We want more money, more, you know, status, you know, more things. This is something that just consumes us, right? We want more love, we want more affection, we want more attention, we want more admiration, more, more, more. So before I made this video, like I, I had this idea in mind. I was like, you know what? I remember Shane Dawson mentioning in the Inside the Mind of Jake Paul series that Jake Paul did a Draw My Life. And it's interesting because like what Shane, and I don't think Shane did this intentionally, but what Shane Dawson showed in his video, I was like, oh, this seems like a really sweet Draw My Life. And then I went and watched the original. I'm like, oh no, it's still Jake Paul. Like within five minutes, he says savage like 20 times. It's crazy. Savage. Savage, savage, savages, beast mode. By the way, that's an exaggeration. But anyways, in no way, shape, or form am I, am I defending Jake Paul, and I'm going to maybe sound a little optimistic, but I'm looking at this thing, and I'm like, I don't think that kid, that kid that Jake Paul was talking about in Draw My Life, I don't think that kid thought, you know, one day I wanna grow up and make money off of taking advantage of children. I don't think that. I don't think, you know, human nature is to be that way. But as I'm watching it, he talks about the competitiveness that his dad instilled in him through sports, through his competitions with his brother Logan, and all that. And it was like this 
this motivation to do better. But what I hear that as, that translation, is that they wanted more, right? They wanted more attention, they wanted more, you know, fame, you know, and it started out as just like, fame in the sense of you know being the best football player or wrestler and trust me i get that i was a sports kid too right it started out like that but then jake paul talks about how he was like the class clown and things like that trying to get more laughs get more attention more 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 so i'm looking at that i'm like man this kid was destined to become the person he is like i said i don't think Part of his plan was to take advantage of kids and make money off them through a, a variety of different means. I don't think that, but like we said, the ego doesn't like trade-offs, right? The ego doesn't like saying, okay, like I wanna keep doing this and keep entertaining people. I thought somewhere in the draw of my life it was gonna say, I really love just entertaining people and making people laugh or, you know, doing this or motivating people. I thought that's what it was because this chapter that I'm on in Ego is the Enemy, it's like, what is, you know, valuable to you, right? Like what means the most to us? And I was thinking that, you know, because I, you see that a lot of people start with one mission or one goal in mind and then after success, it changes, right? And that's something that I'm trying to always keep in check. Like, I talk to you guys all the time. What's my motive? What's my motive? What's my motive? Like, why did I start this channel? Why did I start it? I started it to get as many people as possible to potentially hear a message of hope and to spread awareness when it comes to mental health, right? That's what I did, right? And I try to learn from people like Jake Paul to see like where they made these like mistakes and these steps, right? So as much as I analyze people who are doing great and have great mental health and I believe have an awesome moral compass, I gotta, I gotta look into the negative as well. Like something I've really been diving into like this year especially, like I hope you guys are ready to go on this journey with me and you guys are thinking about this stuff too, is that like I'm trying to like analyze these things and watch myself and you know see how these numbers are you know are they going to change me and that's why i need to have people keeping me in check or even books that keep me in check right because i want to make sure that my priorities never get screwed up you know what i mean so then like let's look at the relationship with him and Alyssa violet or him and erica costell and you know allegedly, allegedly, there was cheating involved in both of those relationships, right? And like I was saying, like, the ego wants us to have everything, right? It wants to, us to have more than the next person, everyone, everywhere. So this is one of the reasons why people cheat. It's not an excuse. I don't believe cheating is you know, something that is an excusable thing. Like, I'm not saying that you can't repair a relationship after che cheating, that's a whole different video. But, like, the culprit behind it is, you know, is the ego, right? Like, you are not satisfactory to me. Like, and that's why people get so hurt in a relationship, because basically that act, that action is saying, you weren't enough for me, so I needed this, right? And it comes down to, you know, when we look into it, when we look into, you know, why, you know, men or even women cheat, you know, sometimes it's that thing of more again, right? I need more love, I need more attention, I need more affection, I need more, 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 right? Um, and sometimes it's like, you know, bragging, right? I need more people to think that I'm a, I'm a player or whatever, like, why do we do this? Why do we yearn for that thing? Why do we go after that thing and sacrifice something that might be good. You see what I mean? Like I'm somebody who's never cheated, but I look and I try to analyze this and so much of this comes down to ego. And then the last thing, I was actually watching the Ner new Nerd City video. Like it took me a few days to watch it and um, name drop real quick. Uh, 
not really name drop, but I was talking to one of the guys from uh, the Nerd City team, and he asked me if I saw it yet, and was asking my thoughts. I'm like, oh crap, I forgot, because I've been traveling to LA, but I watched it. And, you know, it, I'm like, oh cool, Nerd City, you know, he's trying to teach us how to like make better merch, and da 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 da. I, uh, you know, I have merch, by the way, link is always down in the description. Here's some of it right here. Um, but anyways, <laughs> it goes right back to Jake Paul, and it was great. But, like, think about that trade-off. Like, I don't think that Jake Paul, like thought when he was like starting this kind of social media empire, I don't think he's, he was thinking like, you know, when I get bigger, I'm gonna see how I can put the least amount of effort into a clothing line and make the most amount of profit. I don't think that's something he originally set out to do, but when the ego gets involved and we wanna increase profits, we wanna, you know, increase just like sales, all sorts of stuff, right? Like, then we start, we start sacrificing morals and our judgment and everything like that. Like, basically, spoiler alert, if you didn't watch Nerd City, like, Jake Paul is using, like, clip art, right? And even, like, the, the fabric and stuff isn't even all that great. Like, he hasn't even, like, paid an actual designer to design his merch, even though Jake Paul is one of the richest, you know, social media influencers out there. So it's really not that hard, you know, to pay somebody to design some decent merch. And it gets to a point where some people, they, they're just looking for how they can cut corners, screwing people over. But the biggest lesson that I'm learning and what keeps me in the right headspace is, this is not sustainable. Like, it's not sustainable at all. And what I love about this book, Ego is the Enemy, it, it talks about a lot of people throughout history. Um, there was just a section about Howard Hughes and all that stuff, it was really interesting. But it's not sustainable. Like, if you look at someone like Jake Paul, their target audience is young people, okay? Those young people get older, but although those young people get older and there are new young people who are coming in, so you could say they can always focus on the young people, like those, those big brothers right now are gonna have little brothers who grow up, and as those br big brothers gain some more awareness, they're gonna tell their little brothers now, forget that Jake Paul guy. You see what I mean? And then it all comes crumbling down. And what we do is, we we often sacrifice our long-term legacy for short-term benefits, right? And I hope that you're all staying with me and wondering how this affects you. Like, are you sacrificing something? Like, are you working for a company? Or if you're somebody who's looking for a job, are you gonna sacrifice your morals, your values to make more money, right? Is that something that you're willing to do? Is, you know, a car to impress other people, is that really worth it? You know, or the house to impress other people, or the furniture you wanna get to impress other people? Is that worth the, the trade-off? You know what I mean? Something that I love, again, about uh, Gary Vaynerchuk is he always talks about legacy. Legacy, legacy, legacy. And this is something that really hits home to me. And if you guys want, like, use this little hack that I use, too. But for me, I almost died six and a half years ago. I had a 10% chance of living, almost died. My mom and dad almost lost their son. My sister almost lost her brother. My son almost lost his father. My friends almost lost their friend, right? So what we talk about, you know, for those of us who have been through that, is that we're living on borrowed time. Like, I came so close to death. Like, every day is so valuable to me. And every morning when I wake up and I ask myself, who do I wanna be? You know, I wanna be a little bit better than I was yesterday. But another thing that I keep at the front of my mind is if I were to disappear off the face of this earth tomorrow, what would people say about me, right? What is the legacy that I left behind? And not only did I come so close to death, but I've experienced so much death in my life, over 70 people in the last three and a half years. So I know how precious life is. And that's something that keeps me on the straight and narrow, right? What's my legacy? What have I done, right? And what helps me go to sleep at night is, even though there's some people out there who disagree with me and you know see me in a different light or whatever, I can go to sleep at night knowing that there are people out there who have benefited 
from what I've contributed to this world. And I, that's what I really wanna end this video with. I really want all of you to think about that, right? Because our ego doesn't think about that. Our ego wants the short-term gains. But think about the legacy that you're leaving on this earth. What do you wanna be? Who do you wanna be? What is the end goal? Because if we keep that in the front of our mind, if we, if we live each day, like tomorrow might not be there, we're more likely to leave a lasting positive impression on this planet. And whatever that means for you, that doesn't mean start a YouTube channel, doesn't mean become a social media star. You know, what does that mean? Does it mean being a better you know, child to your parents? Does it mean being a better spouse to your husband or wife? Does it mean being a better significant other to your boyfriend or girlfriend? Does it mean being a better father or mother to your child? What does that mean to you? What is your legacy if you were going to leave tomorrow? Let's do that to end this video. Down in the comments below, let me know how you want people to remember you, okay? And maybe start thinking about what you can do each and every day to leave that last impression. Because as I continue to grow on YouTube, I look at Jake Paul and I learn from him and I'm like, if I had the reputation of Jake Paul and I disappeared tomorrow, is that the legacy that I would want to leave behind? All right, but anyways, I appreciate you sitting with me through this video. I wanna start making some more videos, just helping you get into my mind, trying to help you see how it's affecting you in your life. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to help support the channel, get extra perks and videos and all that stuff, click right there. And go check out the video I did with Donna over on Psych RL. And click right there to watch the video that she did over on my channel, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.